Hey guys, Todd from Sideshow Effects again. Uh, today we're going to talk about Stream Deck, Stream Deck devices. So the first part of this video is going to be about uh, introducing you to the Stream Deck device and how you can get started with it uh, on a basic level. And then the second part of the video is going to be getting into detail showing you how you can use our icon packs and our supplied pre-built profiles to get you up and running really, really quickly. So first things first, you got a Stream Deck device and you've installed the software and you're presented with this interface here. Uh, now I'm working with the Stream Deck XL at the moment, uh, the Stream Deck uh, regular version, the, six, the 15 key version works identically to the XL version. It's just that with the XL you got 32 keys instead of 15. And I'm going to be showing you examples using uh, After Effects, but the principles once again are the same whether you're working with Premiere, DaVinci, Illustrator, it doesn't matter. You'll be able to use these instructions for whatever application you're working with. So here's the interface, the Stream Deck interface that it comes with. Obviously on the left hand side here it's representing the keys that are on your physical device and on the right hand side are the commands that you can drag and drop onto any one of these buttons to make things happen. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the uh, gear icon here at the top and it you know, brings up the preferences pane. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, profiles already created here, but we'll start from scratch. But we'll go over to the plus uh, key here and we can add in a new profile that creates that. Double click it to name it. Let's just call it AE test for now because we're going to be working with After Effects. And you'll see over here that it tells us uh, that this profile, when we launch a particular application, Stream Deck is going to be smart enough to know that it'll switch to that profile and present that profile to you on your device when it recognizes you switched to that application. So here we can switch over to, to After Effects. So every time I launch After Effects or switch over to After Effects while I'm working on my desktop, whatever keys I assigned in this profile are going to pop up on the device. Okay, we're all good. We're going to get out of preferences for now and go to building the page. The first thing you might want to do is, as, as you can see, you've got 32 keys, but that doesn't limit you. Yeah, because you can create different folders that opens up another 32 keys on top of that. So, for example, let's say the first, uh, the, t uh, the first key here, uh, we can drag this create folder onto that button and you can see that immediately on the device over here, we, we have the, uh, uh, the, the folder icon. Now back on the, on the desktop here, uh, we can give this a name. We can say, um, let's just say it file. And you can see the name pops up there. And if you click this forward arrow here, this gets us into this page. And now we can apply buttons on this page. Automatically gives you a go back to the previous page button here. Pretty important or else you'll never be able to get back. So our first key here, we can assign an action that when pressed triggers After Effects in this case to perform that action. So let's say for example, let's switch over to, to After Effects and we've got a project open here. So let's say we'd like this first button to be something like uh, Split Layer. Whenever you're building these, you want to make sure that you're building off of the uh, the correct shortcuts. So you access the shortcuts in After Effects by going to the edit menu down to keyboard shortcuts there and it presents you this whole dialog box. And it has a very helpful uh, search function uh, in After Effects. And let's say we're looking for splits. So let me type in split. It refines the list. There we have split layer at current time, which is in fact shift command D. So let's hide this and we go back to Stream Deck and we know that we want to invoke a action that will be a key press of shift command D for this button. So we do that by going over to hotkey, dragging it onto that button, and it comes with the click to assign dialog box here. So we will do the shift command D, and you see it automatically places that in the title column, which isn't very helpful to us. So let's title that as split layer. And you can see it automatically will put the name at the bottom of the icon. Let's go over to After Effects and let's see it in action. So here we got our, our layer. Let's select the layer, go over to the Stream Deck, press the split layer, 
and it does it instantaneously. So you can continue to populate all these buttons to all the actions that suit your particular workflow. Now there's a lot of different things here in the menus uh, that you can explore and you can experiment with yourself. A handy one could be multi-action, which can allow you to do several actions all at once. Quickly, I can show you, you drag this over and then it creates a dialog box where you can then do several things all at once. So I can drag a hotkey into here and I can say, uh, well, okay, let's do split layer, but after a split layer, and I'll just quickly name that, after a split layer, I then, uh, I would probably want to put a little bit of delay in here. Sometimes I find 250 millisecond delay is sufficient. Sometimes if you don't have a delay in between your different commands, uh, the computer might miss it. So you put just a very, very slight delay, and then you add in, say, another hotkey. Uh, let's say that after you split a layer for whatever reason, you always want to save. So Command S will save, and we'll just label that save. And then to get back out of this, we hit the upward arrow here, and we can name this here. We can say split and save. There we go. And we can make it like that. And you can see we can always get back to the stack of actions by, by this forward arrow here, and we can change them and look and see what we've got. So now we have on our Stream Deck device, we have the split and save button there going over to After Effects. Let's undo that last action. So here we are here. I'm going to hit split and save. And it saves for us at the same time. So there's a lot of things you can do with all these different actions here and building your own profile to, suited to how you like to work. But wouldn't it be great if somebody's done a lot of the work for you already? Well, that's where our icon packs and, and, and included profiles come into play. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to delete that button, start with a clean slate. Now in the case of our After Effects uh, icons pack, so when you download the pack, this is what you're going to see. Right here, we have the, uh, the icons, all the icons made for most of the commands and actions inside of After Effects. Uh, and this is the icons that are black on transparent. And we have the white on transparent. They're all identical from each other. And then we have the color ones. And they're all uh, different color coded for the different uh, menu commands. So we'll work with the color ones today. But the first thing you're going to want to do when you uh, download the package is you want to install the shortcut files. Because the profiles that are included have the shortcut commands already attached to them, you want to make sure that the shortcut command file that you're using corresponds with the profiles provided. So uh, there is a PDF document that is included, and in the PDF document over here on uh, page, oh, what is this, 4A, it, uh, it will detail, it shows you where exactly you need to drop your keyboard shortcut depending on the operating, operating system you're working in. So we got a Mac and a Windows, and uh, it will show you where to put those. That's the first step. You gotta make sure that you do that, restart After Effects. And then when you're in After Effects, you wanna make sure you go over to Keyboard Shortcuts, and you want the keyboard layout preset, it should show up there. And in this case, it's called After Effects SFX. You make sure you load that and say, okay. And now the shortcut commands that have been assigned for all the profile buttons will work. Next step to do is you can see the Stream Deck profile folder here. And we're on a Mac at the moment. There are Windows versions as well. And there are two of them. One is for the XL and one is for the regular 15 key Stream Deck device. So obviously we're on a Stream Deck XL at the moment. Go to preferences here and we're going to uh, click the downward arrow and say import and you navigate to this folder, Stream Deck profile, Mac, and this is the XL. I would double click that. I already have it installed so I won't do it at the moment. And when I have my Stream Deck XL device because I have two devices hooked up, I do have the Stream Deck regular hooked up as well, but make sure I'm in the XL and I pull down the After Effects, SFX, XL profile and it pops up. And you can see it pops up on the Stream Deck device itself. 
Now what's in this pre-built profile? Well, it's divided into the different file menus to make it easy to, to navigate. And I can either, in the Stream Deck uh, software here, I can either double click these the way I would. It's like a button emulator. I can, I can uh, access these different things. So these are the different uh, tools that are available in After Effects. Now, by no means do these profile pages include all of the icons available. Uh, with the, the After Effects package has over 560 um, different uh, icons included. And there just aren't enough different keyboard commands uh, within the application to be able to do all of them. S but you might find that you don't use a number of these, so you can replace them with the icons, uh, or with the shortcut commands that you, that you do use. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But for now, let's go over to After Effects just quickly to see how this works. I'm going to undo the last command. And on my Stream Deck device here, I'm going to page up, and this is our main page of the After Effects menu. Let's say if I go into Panels, and let's say I want to make sure that my image here is zoomed at 100%. By clicking this button, it does it immediately for me. Conversely, if it's zoomed down and I want to zoom it up, it will do that for me on this button. Now, if you're unsure what each one of these buttons actually represents, back into the Stream Deck profile, we can click on a button and it tells us right in, the, in each one of the titles what the function is. And if you choose to, you can click the downward arrow, show title, and it will pop up. So hopefully uh, when you work with it after a day or two, you're going to become very familiar with what each icon does. If you forget, and that does happen from time to time, just come over here and this does tell you. But these profiles are meant really just as a starting point. Your workflow is going to be different than than just the keys presented here. So for example, I'm in the the layer menu here. And let's say that I I don't see a split at layer shortcut key here. Well, I you know, I use that all the time. That's something I I would like to have here. No problem to build on it. So the first thing we want to do is create a hot key onto the, an empty button here. You can see right away on, on the Stream Deck, it, it responds right away with no matter what we're doing on the software, it, it updates right away. And we remember our shortcut key is Shift-Command-D. Split that layer. Now we want to bring in the, the icon for the split at layer. Now the split at layer command is not actually in the layer menu because as you recall uh, in After Effects, th those icons, the way they're designed is everything under the layer menu is, a, is under that folder. Uh, but the split at layer is under the edit uh, menu command. So we can either go over to the edit command and scroll down and find split at layer. And there's the icon. I'll hit uh, spacebar to see it in quick view. And that's our split, at, uh, split layer at current time icon and all we need to do is drag and drop it onto the icon button at the bottom there and it updates immediately and updates on our Stream Deck device. So once again we hop over to After Effects, we have our layer selected, split at layer and there it works beautifully. So that's how you can quickly build your own pages to your own design. In addition let's say that there's some uh, items in the view menu that you use all the time you want to say uh, show the grid. Well, I can copy this button, swing back over to the layer, select an empty button, paste, and there it shows up on my uh, on my device. Switch over to After Effects, hit the button. There's my grid. So you can quickly see how how it easy it is for you to build your own profiles, you, and you can delete any one of these you want, move them around, I can move this to over to here, move this up to here, that sort of thing, and swap them out. You're not really restricted at all. You can create all your own 
profiles and you can create multiple profiles as you see fit depending on your workflow. I sometimes will do that. I have different After Effects profiles depending on the nature of the job that I'm working on. If something has a lot more 3D, I'll pull all my 3D stuff into a page and just have them all sitting there on the Stream Deck device on one page. And it only takes me like five, 10 minutes to quickly set it up. Now keep in mind this workflow that we've just shown with After Effects works in any other application that you're working with. And we have packs with pre-built profiles for uh, After Effects, for Premiere, and Photoshop, and Illustrator, and Cinema 4D and DaVinci and uh, Lightroom Classic. So the same principles apply. They all have their own uh, profiles included in each pack to get you up and running. But you're encouraged to try and mix and match and build your own with the icon packs provided. As always, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, SideshowFX Twit, and visit us at SideshowFX.net. Thanks until the next time we see you.